Uh, welcome back. So today we're going to deal with traversing calculation using the Bondwich method. So the table below shows the bearings and distances from a traverse between datum points S and P using the datum coordinates given in the table 2 below to compute the adjusted coordinates of the new points by Bondwich method. So we are going to have a table there having the lines, uh, the bearing and the distances. So that's what we are going to use. Then we have, we'll have a second table containing the northing and the easting. So those are the coordinates of which we are supposed to produce the other mid coordinates from there. So we have from point S to point P uh, given the bearings so as follows. So that is 40 degrees, 27 minutes, 10 seconds. Then we have all the distances for the given lines which we are going to calculate our accuracy from them so all the distances they are there and then we're going to have a second table so containing line s and p and then we're going to have the northing and the easting so we are going to have all the coordinates being given there so in bondage method we first go going to evaluate the accuracy of the traverse so we are going to deal with the latitude and the departures so the change in x so that is the departure and then for y that is the latitude so for latitude that is the northern and for departure so those are the values for the east so we are going to multiply our distances at line sm by sine theta then we're going to find the departure then we're going to deal also with the latitude so the second we're going to deal for the line m1 to m2 and then we find the departure so that is the length 2973.20 sine 38 degrees 7 37 minutes 10 seconds so we are going to find our value for the two so for the departure and for the latitudes then we are going to do the same for m2 to m3 we are going to find the departure and also the latitude so we multiply the distances which we have been given the table table one then by sine theta then for latitudes you're going to use cos theta then we are going so the values may either be negative or uh, positive depending on what the angles are so we are going also to do for m3 to m4 so our distance that is 4003.7 sine 27 degrees 37 minutes 35 seconds so we'll get our value as 18 1856.53 then we're also going to do for the latitude and you remember for the latitude we are representing the nothing and for the departure so our value there will have 3547.24 so that will be for the latitude then we'll move from m4 to m5 so the we'll do for the departure so that is the change in x so we are going to have our distance as 2573.4 sine 153 17 minutes 20 seconds then also we are going to repeat it for the same 
and we are going to get there our value being a negative so the last you're going from m5 to p will have the distances multiplied by sine 150 17 minutes 20 seconds so that's for the departure and then for the latitude we are going to use cos 150 degrees 17 minutes 20 seconds and we'll have our negative there so having finished that you're going to input all the values that you've gotten there for the latitudes and for the departures so we'll draw our table and then one column will have the lines so all the lines will include them from s to p then have another column for the distances which is an important aspect so because you're going to add all the distances later to find the total distance of which you're going to use it to correct in both the easting and the nothing and then we also will have for the departure that is the change in instance then we'll also have the latitude that is the change in the nothings so we are going to start with our first value that we had gotten from the evaluation of the accuracy from s to m1 from m1 to m2 from m2 to m3 from m3 to m4 from m4 to m5 and then from m5 to m6 then the, so that's for the so easting. starting from s we have been given the coordinates for the easting so we are going to take the coordinates for the easting and add all the other coordinates that we have gotten from our relation of the accuracy and we'll have all from what them, you can see our value has exceeded what we have for p and it has exceeded with the negative 0 0.18 so we'll do for the nothing too so we have also done the total for the distances so we are going to input all our values for the nothings all of them up to so the last for our accuracy uh, that's to m5 to p then we are going to use what we had been given earlier as the coordinate for s and add all the total up to the end so there we have our value has exceeded what we have been given in the equation so it has exceeded by a negative 0 0.64 and that's where uh, uh, the tree comes in so we are going to correction so correcting the easting so we are going to use the value which we have for the distance over the total distance times the correction so we had a negative 0 0.18 there in order for it to be correct or in other simple terms for it to be zero we had a positive of that value so that's why we are going we are using positive 0 0.18 and we have gotten our answer there so the same for the second one from m1 to m2 so here the only thing that is changing is the distances but the total distance remains the same and the correction remains the same so for m2 to m3 also the distance changes as you can see there um, and also for m 3 to m4 you are going to use the a different distance over the total times the correction of which that is a positive 0 0.18 so all our answers are positive and that to, so those answers we are going to use them to correct the latitude and the departures that we had gotten on the previous table so we do the same for m4 to m5 and then we go and do the last so from m5 to p the distance that we have been given over the total times uh, so that's times a positive of the correction 0 0.18 and then 
uh, the total of all the correction will give us what we have so if you add all those total they will give you a positive 0 0.18 that we are supposed to use having completed for the hasting we go to the nothing so the nothing we had a negative 0 0.64 for correcting it we are going to add the positive of it in order to make sure so our value remains zero so we do the same what changes is only the distance that we have been given but the total distance remains the same and the correction remains the same then all our values there too will they will be positive so we go and do for m2 to m3 as you can see there so what is changing is the distance over the total times the correction which is a positive 0 0.64 giving us a positive value then we'll do the same for m3 to m4 and we'll have a value being also different so the key thing is to make sure so after adding all the nothing you'll find that it either goes off or it comes less of what we have been given in the equation and that's what we are going to we always use all the time so if it exits we will need to reduce it so that is a negative we'll use our positive for our correction and if it has exceeded we'll do the vice versa so we, we go for the last one so that m5 to p uh, two thousand nine hundred and seventy-four point seven eight over the total times the correction, and we'll have our value there. So we to add all of them, and they will give a positive zero point six four. So that's for confirming the accuracy. So our last thing is to draw the last table. We are going to have the column for the lines. So that's for the referencing in order to keep your things in a nice and neat form so we'll have for correction for the corrected and lastly for the coordinates so we can add also for the stations uh, to that so we start with the easting so we input the values that we had evaluated and we had corrected in the eastings from our what we have done a few minutes ago so for both the easting and the northing you impute the correct value to where it's it is supposed to be then we have we go to the corrected so we go to the previous table we use that value and we add these eastings to the values so that is correcting the values that we had previously on the table that we had drawn earlier so you add the value and you get our answer so the same will be done to the nothing so we are going to have our value then plus 0 0.13 for the second we are going also to have our value plus 0 0.10 so we are using the table that we had drawn earlier with the easting and the nothings then we correct them by what we have done in the correction of the easting and the nothing so we correct all those values in order to eliminate that error of accuracy and lastly we go to our s the coordinate we had been given and we add for the easting from the corrected so we go to the corrected and we add all of them up to the end giving us individual coordinates which are more of representing our stations so the same we'll do for the nothing we are going to have uh, the one that we have been given for in the table then we'll add what we had corrected earlier on the table here so we'll add all the values going downwards 
have all the total until we reach our end so the values are all there so what you can identify is that we are we have gotten the correct value for p which we had so what we have been given in the question must reflect on this table after all our corrections so the values for the p and for s show that we are right so thank you